being the mayor's evening for the arts tonight. It's an event aimed at raising money for the arts in this city. And with more, we're joined live now by CB24's Miranda Anthistle. She's about to see the parade of the artists from Toronto at the uh, Metro Convention Center. Miranda. Exactly, Steph. Good evening, Nathan. Steph, it's a huge evening for the Toronto arts scene. It's all about investing in the Toronto arts this evening. We're talking to Claire Hopkinson, who is the director and CEO of the Toronto Arts Foundation, about this huge night. We know that last year this was a sold out event. Tonight is no exception. And last year raised over a million dollars. What are you expecting from tonight's event? Well, we're hoping and anticipating to raise 1.5 million, all to go towards Arts in the Parks, which is a free, family friendly. Arts events in parks across the entire city for next summer. So, what makes this program, Arts in the Parks, it's new this year, the pilot program, what makes this so important for the city? Well, it's about bringing community together and it's about having access to the arts and uh, in, in bringing neighborhoods together, bringing neighbors out of their apartment buildings, working together, seeing wonderful artworks or performing in them, joining in the dance troupe. It's, it's a really special way of community building through the arts. Wonderful. So what's in store tonight for the guests, for the 1,200 guests who will be coming down here? Well, we've got Lemon Bucket Orchestra. We've got Patricia O'Callaghan. We have the Tableau Ensemble. We have raging Asian taiko drummers. We've got it all. We've got Pan Fantasy. So we have this really eclectic group of performers. We've got live painters such as Carlos Delgado. We've got art and design. And, of course, some wonderful food and beverages. Live auction, silent auction. Um, and of course, the main star of the show, the mayor, who's really championed arts in the parks. He's been a supporter of it since it was first conceived. And he really believes that the arts help bring this city together. And he has said that it should be publicly accessible to everyone. That's also been sort of his mantra. And his theme has been One Toronto. And arts, well, it brings people together. There's no barriers in terms of language most of the time. There's, there's a way of sharing culture, sharing experiences that really does draw people together across geographic divides, across genders, across ages. So it's, it's a wonderful project. Thank you so much, Claire. And Mayor John Tory will actually be painting himself later tonight, so we can judge that and his artistic ability. But for now, I'll send it back inside to you.